I was speaking with some high school students this past summer that I worked with and a bird flew into the window, like right outside my office now. So I was taken by surprise. And of course the students were like, what happened? So after we finished our meeting, I went outside to see if the bird was still there and it had passed, it had passed away. That was for me an opportunity for a science project. So it was like, okay, there's a bird here. And I had this question, a research question for a really long time in my head where some of the work we do is we sample blow flies to see if we can assess biodiversity. So we actually extract the DNA from the guts of the flies to see what they've been feeding on. So that can tell us what species it was. And um, so we've been doing this for a number of years and we never find bird DNA in our flies. We which is very strange because we know our flies, I mean, we, we rear our flies on chicken liver in the lab, so we know that they like it, but out there in the wild, we never see it. So I was like, okay, I have a bird here. I'm gonna watch this bird over the next few days, see if the flies that I study are coming to it or what else is happening. Because it was strange to me that this observation that I made, which was really the absence of an observation, like how come this is happening? And so, you know, every few hours throughout the daytime hours, I, it's so easy, I would just pop out outside, go have a pee. And then I made some observations that are not, you know, statistically powerful or anything because I had one subject. But what I noticed was that there were kind of flies buzzing around, but not very many, not as many as I would have expected. And ants had totally overtaken the little carcass. And I know that in some places, like in Texas, if a blowfly comes in and lays eggs, the ants will often just take those eggs away because they're nutritious for them. And so that was probably happening here. And for a few days, I didn't notice any fly activity on there, but the ants were very, very busy. That might explain why, for whatever reason, the ants really like birds, as opposed to, you know, other potentially dead animals. So then it was like, okay, well, I can see why in this particular case, why we didn't have any flies sort of coming here. Um, so now I'm thinking about other experiments that I need to be doing <laughs> in order to really answer that question, right? This is a single observation that I made of nature out there. And then as a scientist, and especially me and my job, this is what I get to do. I get to design experiments to try to answer questions that I have. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics.